Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Spellbinder with a very strange article from the Charleston Voice that came out today on September 17th, which now it's the 18th, but I just came across the article. It says, uh, Republican electors threatened to vote for Ron Paul instead of Romney. And it's just threats are foolish nonsense. Will the Republican state electors stand for America on principles or like obedient party saddle tramps vote for the candidate demanded by their corrupt leadership? Can you begin to see why we're in trouble that we are by re-electing career politicians without the integrity and morals that America is in dire need? Republican electors threatened to vote for Ron Paul instead of Romney. And this is the article. And it's pretty well saying it. In the event November's presidential election is a squawker or squeaker, Mitt Romney may be down two or more electoral college votes from members of his own party because of the archaic voting system used in the United States. Voters do not actually vote for a candidate, but for a state of state electors who are pledged to vote for that candidate if he or she wins the state. In most states, these electors are not legally required to vote for the candidate who won the state. In, and in fact, there have been 87 instances in which an elector refused to vote for a presidential or vice presidential candidate he or she was supposed to. The two supporters of Ron Paul have said publicly that they may not vote for Romney in the Electoral College in December. They and others have expressed frustration with the party leaders over what they said were heavy-handed attempts throughout the campaign and the convention to deny Paul the nomination. Two, the two Paul supporters considering not voting for Romney are Ken Eastman of Nevada and Billy Zimmerman of Texas. In addition, another Nevada elector Ken Searles, or Searles uh, says he may vote for Paul as a protest, but only if his vote doesn't change the outcome of the election. And Kathleen, Kathleen Miller of Alaska plans to vote for Romney, but said she might change her mind if the GOP leaders engage in more shenanigans. Shenanigans, that is. Uh, one defector, uh, Melinda Wadsley, from Iowa resigned rather than vote for Romney. They never given Ron Paul a fair shot and I'm disgusted with that. I'd like to show them how disgusted I am, Wadsley told the Associated Press. The last time a Republican elector switched his vote was in 1976 when Mike Podden of Washington voted for Ronald Reagan instead of Gerald Ford. No uh, brink Brinkerhoff and David uh, Warchinsky. To learn more, three Ron Paul supporters electors may not support Republican ticket by Mike Baker, Associated Press. Ira GOP elector says conscience won't allow her to vote for Romney, resigns her appointment, Associated Press. Faithless elector by Wikipedia. So there it is. You have seen it here. And these are some links. Related posts. Corruption, President Politics, Romney, Ron Parr voting. And they point it all out. And it's just like, well, if uh, they're gonna play they're gonna play like that, they're gonna they're gonna give Obama the election, I guess. Because they're being being crooks as bad as Obama. So if that's what they wanna do, that's what they're gonna get. Until next time, this is Spellbinder saying, be good, be good at it, and let's see what happens in December after the election.